y'all doing? It's Rob Burn. I'll make you a picture man r and in this new episode of Richard TV 91. It's time to do another episode of movie reviews. This time we're reviewing X Man The Last Stand. What X Man The Last Stand? <sighs> Excuse me, it's about. Uh, what happens is we get a flashback scene where Matt Nito and Professor X goes to see Jane, Jean Grey for the first time. And she's, and she's showing off that she's a very powerful mutant. And we find out that Professor X had to put all these brain. Uh, pretty much lots in her mind that way she wouldn't go completely crazy with power and professor x is ashamed that he's did, did regrets that he does this and logan finds out toward the middle of the movie and he uh blames professor x for what's happening kinda and what happens is is professor x magneto all the x-men and all the brotherhood to go to try to recruit gene pretty much she goes back to her childhood at home. Well, during this, uh, the Brotherhood is trying to keep the X Man out of the house while Professor X, Magneto, and Jean Grey go talk. Well, Jean Grey gets mad at Professor X, winds up killing Professor X, and Logan's not can't get there in time to save Professor X, and Jean Grey winds up going with Magneto. Well, Jean Grey has pretty much become the Phoenix in this movie, and. Matt Nito's using her pretty much as a secret weapon to go up against the United States Army. Well, the United States Army have come up with this cure with the help of Worthington Labs, and they give away all their metal weapons and everything metal on them. They get these plastic weapons with a cure in it, and they go after the Brotherhood. Well, this uh, big fight at the end, toward the end of the movie between the army, the X-Men, and the Brotherhood goes down. And a bunch of mutants wind up losing their powers, Magneto being one of them. Uh, but toward the end of the movie, we see that he's starting to slowly get his powers back. Mystique also lost her powers in this movie. And Wolverine's forced to kill uh, Jean Grey because he's the only one that could get close enough to her to do it. And other than that, that's all that really happened besides at the end of the movie, Professor X putting his consciousness into a comatose body. So I'd see what happens with that. Other than that, that's all that really happened. My question for y'all is now that Professor X's consciousness is in another body, what's going to happen with that? As always, Rob Burnham, make sure you put your mind on RB sign. Not guys, GG's awesome. See you next time.